Hello everyone, I'm Waltz here, and here we are with part 67 of 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself. Our 67th principle today is a pretty interesting one. Ugh, why do I say that every time? I always find, I guess I always find them just interesting, because, I mean, why would I shoot the series if I didn't like what I was doing, obviously? So, um, this one, though, I, I find it pretty enjoyable, um... But also I find this one to be a principle I kind of disagree with to some degree, so that brings another kind of enjoyment, and uh, I'll just skip to it. Um, basically, this principle is one about creating your universe. That's what I would uh, kind of term it, create your universe. And it really comes down to his four-circle exercise. What he says is draw a circle for your life, your year, your month, and your day. And he says that what you can do is you can set a lifetime goal. He goes with the idea of saving $500,000. Seems like a pretty small lifetime goal, <laughs> at least in modern uh, terms. I mean, like, you really going to do more than your life than make, like, half a mil? I kind of feel like you'd want to do more. But maybe that's just me. I'm a super ambitious person, so I always want to do more than that. Anyway, say you know you have your lifetime goal, then create your yearly goal so you can hit your lifetime goal. So in this case, if you plan to retire, you know, if he's saying in 50 years, then we each year we'd need to be able to save $10,000, assuming we're not getting a decent rate of interest on it, which you could easily obtain if you know what you're doing there. Anyway, um, so say it's then, okay, we need to save $10,000 to retire in 50 years on 500 grand. Okay, and then we come back, you know, to what do I need to save this month? Well, like a twelfth of that, so something like 900, 800 kind of bucks. <laughs> we need to save here and uh, like 850, somewhere around there. Uh, not great at doing that uh, division in my head. Anyway, so say we only need to save $850 this month, okay, and then we divide that up by 30, etc. You can figure out, you know, Ah, I only need to save 30 bucks today and I'll be on my lifetime goal. Be as reasonable or unreasonable as that is. So I kind of think that that's really what um, his system is set up to do. It's to take a big goal and get it down to a small one. Now he makes an interesting idea here about creating our reality and that's absolutely something I believe in that we create our own reality basically because of the lens that we're putting everything through. If we're happy all the time the world is suddenly full of sunshine and rainbows and if we're sad all the time everything is now grown darker and more depressing. It's kind of like we're setting our own difficulty in life. So it can we can either set it to like the least difficult setting or we can set it to the most difficult setting. It's like if we were playing a game like uh, Pac-Man, except, you know, if we set it to the easiest difficulty, the ghosts are always blue, so we can never get hurt, we always win, we just go straight to level 900 or something. <laughs> I don't know how many levels there are in Pac-Man. I know there are 255 levels of Galaga, because I love Galaga compared to Pac-Man, but anyway... Or you can set it to the you know highest difficulty where there are just ghosts everywhere and you can never turn them blue and you can just get, you know, you only have one life. So really set things to the easy setting in life and maybe this exercise will help you guys do that. I think it leads to a little too much perfectionism of saying, okay, day, month, year, life, okay? I think you can have a good yearly goal, you can have a good lifetime goal, you can have a good monthly goal, that's fine, and definitely make progress on your goals every day because that is like the biggest affirmation towards achievement. But I do think that the problem here is that if you're constantly saying, okay, I have to do this today in order to get this, to get this, to get this, if you don't do it one day, suddenly you start to feel like it's falling all apart. At least that's kind of the thing that perfectionism can do. Perfectionism will always try to make you over plan. It will try to say, we need to do 30 things here, and 30 things here, and 30 things there. If this exercise, like with the four circles, helps you relieve some stress, helps you do things better, then hey, go for it. He also has the realization that every day is really our lifetime because see, every day adds up to our life. So let's not look for our life somewhere in the future. Let's live every day as our lifetime here. Now, this doesn't mean, like, go and do crazy stuff today because there won't be tomorrow. It does mean, though, let's have some passion. Let's live our true life today. Let's not just, like, push our dreams down. Let's make some progress on them every single day. Let's not just say, oh, you know, I can sacrifice these number of years to things I don't love. No, no, no. Do something you love at least for a minute every day, okay? Now, if this exercise helps you with the four circles, go for it. But personally, I find it to be a little bit too, like, full of perfectionism. But that could just be me. 
Anyway, that's part 67. I'm Walt. I'll see you guys next time with part 68. So stay tuned. I'll see you then.